Hey, thanks for coming to Larger Curves today. Make sure you smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, and ring the bell on the way in. Curvies, I have another reel for you of Candace Dillard Bassett and a Baby Bassett update. She has been doing many things, Curvies. She is nesting. She is being fabulous, going out to different events and singing and stuff like that we've seen before. But here's her. If you guys notice, there'll be a cameo in this one from Escala Davis. Yes, so keep an eye out. Enjoy, Curvies. The latest update from Candace Dillard Bassett and Baby Bassett. I <clears throat> love, I'm talking to Instagram. I have to burp. <gasps> Excuse me, I'm having. I was calling. What? Get stop it! No. Anyway, I have not started. I have not completed the thought. Stop it! <clears throat> Literally, okay. I love that. One of the things that I love about social media. Because there are a lot of things to hate about it. But one of the things I love is that you really get to, like, see everybody's everything. And people share so much. And one of the things I'm really grateful for is, like, getting to see so much uh, Excuse me, sorry. So much of people's pregnancy journeys... Cause it's just like nice to not feel like you're alone. Um, and then like even amongst my my friend groups, like everyone's stories are so vastly different, and like some are similar to me, and some are, are literally not like mine at all. So one of the things that um, you hear a lot about that pregnant women talk about a lot is how you're not supposed to like comment on the size of someone's belly. <clears throat> and this dog. Because literally, there is no formula to childbirth. Like, you literally don't know what you're going to get, what's going to happen. It is all a crapshoot. Like, and like the same goes for your body. So like, I'm a small person. I'm five, two and a half. I was 98 pounds my senior year in high school. I have never weighed more than 113 pounds until now. My husband was 4'11 until like 10th grade. And he's 6'1 now, but he was little. He weighed like five pounds, 13 ounces. I was six pounds, seven ounces when we were born respectively. So like, I don't know why people expect me to have like this gigantic baby. And it's not to say that I couldn't. You know, I know petite women that have given birth to big babies. Um, but I also know women who've given birth to medium-sized babies and small babies. Get out of there, Peppa! Um, and I say all this to say that I was scrolling through Instagram. My algorithm is all baby stuff. And there was this woman... Um, who was like almost nine months and her stomach was like not that big and it just made me feel it made me feel seen Peppa it made me feel very seen because my stomach is not huge it's big I mean I feel big but it's not. I'm tiny. I'm tiny. 
You think I'm tiny? I'm mean, big for you, but you're not sure. Peppa, bring your ass in here. Come here. Come here and get out of there. Chris, come get your dog. Because if you go in there and you poop in my office, it's up for you. I feel like she pooped in there. This is a very disjointed story. So, yeah. I'm just grateful that I get to, like, see other people, other women, and what they're going through. Because I might feel inadequate. Because people are always like, oh, you're so little, you're so tiny, blah, blah, blah. And then when I tell them how far along I am, it's like, oh my God, so little. Well, I'm little. Like me, my my genetic makeup is small. My grandmother was 4'11". Medea, my daddy's mom, 4'11". So, you know, my parents were both very petite. They're still very petite people. So like, let me gestate. That's all. Washington DC that y'all need to adopt. Why can't we have this? They have these markers on the track that tell you where the train is going or what car you're gonna be pulling up to. So you don't have to be running down here, rushing, guessing which direction to go. Can we, we need to, this is cute. Philly did something right, I like it.
y'all I'm waddling like I have to concentrate to not waddle do you see this uh, cellulite on this thigh this is why I'm in here um yeah I'm, I'm not walking straight oh I see Wait. <laughs> it's coming in. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Y'all figuring it out yet? Not yet. What are waiting on? N nothing. We're probably going to do it in like the next couple of weeks. We'll find out. Yes. Yes. Good. So, so people can, people, people can buy the baby stuff. Like exactly. That. They need to know what to get. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yes. You only find both of them. No, well, that would be all right. You can just keep it. You can keep both. <laughs> keep it, child. This gym is crazy. <laughs> child, everybody in this gym knows us. Us. So we come in here and it's like, hey, 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 hey. I'm trying to do a story talking about my thigh cellulite and one of the the elders of the gym. Hmm. That's what that was. It's really funny. But I am waddling. Just want everybody to know. She's hardly ever this calm. Crazy dog. I love her and Chris's interaction. She seems to be carrying this baby very well, looking healthy and glowing. Did you guys spot a Scala? Yes, they were at a concert together. Anyway, that was the latest update. There'll be more updates of Baby Bassett here on Larger Curves. Leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video.